welcome back to my channel i am so excited to share today's recipe as this is one of my all time favorite snack and this mirchi bachi is a popular street food available throughout the year which can be eaten as it is for tea time or accompanied with some chutneys let's begin by washing a small size tamarind to remove any dirt or impurities whatsoever drain the water and add some fresh clean water to soak it and extract a thick juice which we will need later on now into a preheated pan toss in 2 tablespoons of peanuts and dry roast and remove to a mixer jar once they are properly roasted and now to the same pan add in 2 tablespoons of sesame seeds or dill and dry roast until aromatic and transfer to the mixer jar allow to cool down before you grind to a coarse powder without adding water so this is done here let's remove it to a clean bowl there are a lot of variations of mirchi bajis across india some are stuffed with aloo and onions and peanuts and some are just plain but they taste good now add some salt to taste and add in the extracted tamarind juice slowly little by little to form a thick paste without any lumps use the tamarind juice as needed guys to get that perfect consistency and taste you know the best taste comes when all flavors are balanced the stuffing is ready now these are called bajji mirchi here they are long and thick and some are short and stubby Now keeping the stalk intact make a slit lengthwise through the middle of the chili remove the seeds and the pith using a knife or a spoon if you are a spice lover leave some seeds behind in it as it gives a nice spicy flavor i normally leave some of the seeds but for the sake of the video i'm removing them all neatly and i leave the step purely to your choice and discretion guys but if you love spice as i do then i suggest to leave some seeds behind for that burst of spice and tanginess that comes from the stuffing do likewise for the remaining chilies consider subscribing to my channel guys for more such interesting recipes and to give a like if you enjoyed watching this far and hit that bell icon to stay connected whenever i upload a new video so i have deseeded all the mirchis and let's stuff the cavity with the paste that we have prepared earlier you could add some ajwain to this paste if you enjoy the dominant flavor of ajwain but i'm just going along with it as it is now do likewise for the remaining ones too Down south, this bachi is served with puffed rice preparation called as ugani, which is a special and famous breakfast in some southern parts of Andhra, and which I had happened to eat while traveling by road a couple of years ago. And I must say that it tasted simply yum, guys. Let me know in the comments if you would like to know the recipe. And take a clean bowl and add in one cup of besan or gram flour, one tablespoon of rice powder. quarter spoon of baking soda and save to get a uniform mixture or just go ahead and skip the step guys i use a sieve to ensure that there were no lumps in the basin now to this add salt as needed very little turmeric powder red chili powder as needed and a teaspoon of ajwain or caraway seeds that i crush with my palms to extract the flavor you could add a dash of hing too as it helps in digestion or just skip it now add 2 teaspoons of hot oil and combine together add water slowly mixing simultaneously to get a thick and a smooth batter do not make the batter very runny guys this is the perfect consistency we want Easy way to check is to overturn the spoon and see if you can draw a line across the spoon. And if the line is clean, then it's perfect consistency. 
I am transferring the batter to a glass to minimize the mess but you could simply go ahead and dip the chili in batter and fry but this way it's less messy and the chilies get coated beautifully with the batter too this way oops this glass turned out to be large for this batter i'll need to do some circles here now for the dipping part guys guys take a glass that gets full with the batter to ease things now this is a preheated oil and i'm gently sliding in the mirchi into hot oil and the hot oil should be hot enough to fry fry them light golden on all sides and remove to a plate and dip the remaining ones too and fry until golden on all sides oops that slipped through my fingers be careful while placing the mirchi in hot oil guys as the oil is very hot and one drop on your hands will cause blisters and they looking so beautiful i just can't wait to dig my teeth in and there you go treat yourselves to this mouth watering homemade mirchi bhajis which are so healthy and tasty wait let me cut one and show you the rich filling combined with the mild spicy mirchi coated with batter is just so yummy guys enjoy a monsoon tea time with the delicious homemade mirchi bhaji that's so soft and spongy that even elderly people can enjoy munching it so happy tea time guys enjoy the monsoon sipping hot tea with this mirchi bhajis hope you try and let me know how they came out so go ahead and plan your tea time while i enjoy my mirchi bhaji Happy snacking and thanks for watching.